Hey everybody, this is Glattercat and it's time to play. We are back in Captain of Industry. Let's get back to it. We're suffering a little bit of a worker shortage. We could pause some things. Um, I think I'm maybe not going to bother worrying about it. I guess uh, maybe electronic parts have caught up. Maybe we can pause one of those. That puts us at even. Let's get back to it. I want to keep the ship busy. So let's go fight. Fight, 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 where we can fight. Um, boom. Two ships this time, we'll see. Might be a little bit of a challenge. Um, last episode, oh man, what a heartbreaker. At the end of the episode, I um, built a large recreational center featuring an in-ground swimming pool unintentionally. Fortunately, it's very shallow, so I think we can fill that up pretty quick and... Uh, won't be too big of a deal, but oh man, that's frustrating. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. But anyway, life goes on. Let's keep pushing. We talked about maybe, maybe, maybe getting ready to tap into this copper over here. We saw it is, you know, multiple layers above sea level and there's no rock on top. This is actually a pretty rich copper deposit. I do want to flatten this land. So I'm wondering if we can kind of achieve that. Kind of like we're doing with this mining crew over here by the iron. Kind of burrowing this down to one above sea level and then we're going to bridge across. Kind of wondering if we can get another crew set up. I think we have an extra excavator. Not sure how, but we do. And um, maybe starting to dig down here. And then maybe we could do our copper processing in this area and just work on flattening all that land. Eventually we'll want to move the copper processing. The other thing we could do is belt just the copper ore somewhere. Even if it's temporarily, that would give us the opportunity to cut this back even further. Let's just dive in. Let's dive in with uh, some mining designations. Like I said, I'm thinking of ramping this all down. It's not super urgent. We get at the copper right away. So maybe, yeah, let's just start something and then we'll revise it as we go. We're up at level 10. So I want to burrow down quite a bit. I don't care if we have landslides as long as I don't fall into them or trap an excavator. So I'm going to put a fairly big designation here. Go flat down at level one. Boom. And you can go all the way out for all I care. Boom. Get a mine control tower. Should be, yeah, we're not exactly accumulating unity. We turned up the, um, turn up the production rate on our offshore oil rig. So we've got extra workers and a little bit of unity there. That's kind of part of why we had a worker shortage. So this is going to be our Eastern. East copper mining crew. Boom. Give them this huge area. In fact, I think I can, let's, can I go bigger? Maybe like that. We'll start big excavator. Uh, three trucks. We're getting designations, right? To, for them to get rid of their dirt and everything. It looks like we're in battle. Let's see how we do. It's going to be not so good, I think, unless we take out their guns or take out a ship. I may have bit off more than I can chew. Oh, well. Bummer. Turn tail and run. All right, yeah. We need a way for them to be able to dump their dirt. Um, talked about trucking dirt all the way across the island. Not crazy about doing that. What we could do is we know we're going to be digging out this sand eventually and maybe even this gold. We could fill this, these teeth over here 
with dirt or whatever we, yeah, the dirt that we're going to dig up here, give them a designation close by, but maybe we want to, maybe we want to actually burrow down to here first. One above sea level, you. Boom. Now I want to ramp up mining. This is just so that we have a place to dump fill when we get our mining crew going out here. So I want to ramp up mining and I want to build a ramp like this, right? All the way up to where we're at. I think is there. Boom. And maybe we get these guys working on that first. Like I said, I think we have a little time for this. Okay, our excavator is on his way. In the meantime, we're gonna need a dump area until they burrow down to where the water is that we need a dump area. Um, that we're probably just gonna end up digging up again, but we want it somewhat close by. So let's do a fill designation just over here where they can get rid of stuff. Um, guess we could ramp down. How would we do that? Uh, we'd say, yeah, we'd say just take this out to level 10. And then we ramp down here. This is just so they can temporarily get rid of the stuff they've got. Cannot read those numbers yet. Let's see if I can get a better camera angle. This, right? Boom. I don't think we're going to keep this designation, but at least it gives these trucks a place to go. The dump. And that's also we have a, we can start filling in this water. Um, once we start doing the mining, the copper mining here, we're going to take out a bunch of dirt, level this whole plateau. We need a place for that dirt to go. And we're going to ramp down to get to that place. Ooh, hopefully these guys won't go so far. Okay, let's make sure. Let's get another designation or another um, mine control tower. Let's just make sure they can dump anything they want over there. So vehicle, mine control tower. At the area. Boom. And you guys can dump anything you want, including dirt. Uh, rock, slag, waste, dirt, anything else they might pick up. Sand is fine too. Get that built. Uh, quick build. Let's call this east. Copper build designation. Something like that. So now this guy's doing just exactly what I want. Dumping material. And when the other trucks get back, hopefully three will be enough. We could give them one more just to get that accelerated. How are our storage tanks doing? Are we getting more crude? Doesn't look like it. Boy, we need to upgrade this guy at some point. How is our fuel line here? This guy should be full now. Nice. This guy repaired. Nope. Needs a bunch more iron plates. A bunch of warnings. Maintenance, I think, is like I said, I think that's going to come back. We are smelting a bunch of iron. We're mining a bunch of iron. It seems like consumption just really ratcheted up all of a sudden. I'm not sure quite why. Unity's in the negative. Burner just got researched. Yeah, that belt upgrade is going to be pretty important for us. We may even want to reshuffle 
prioritize that. Where are you? Oh man, it's way over there. Uh, probably requires a new research lab too. Uh, we have research lab too, right? Yes. That helps. Yeah, a little concerned about our belt throughput. We're kind of pulling from these belts more than they have to give. Slabs are filled up. That's all good. Let's take the boost off of this guy and save a little unity. Um, in fact, I think we can take our brick production down. I'm going to pause one of these. Here's to me. Oh, yeah, that was four bricks coming in from the ship just to get rid of them. That's fine. All right, let's look at the morning. Ship is fully repaired. Let's go out. Boom. We'll pick an easier enemy, I suppose. This guy was 172 ships. I think that's where we lost. Let's see if we can do, well. Okay, there's one. Let's battle this guy. That'd be a little easier. Food, we should be in decent shape. We are getting more colonists. Here's this guy. I can't upgrade now, or can't upgrade yet. I do have reduced ship speed and save fuel. I think that's fine. 11 workers. We've got lots of headroom in terms of housing. Let's see, do we have more vehicles queued up? We don't. Let's get more trucks and maybe one more excavator just so we have one on hand. Kind of interested in this area. I'm making sure this moves quick. I may put another excavator here or just get rid of one of the other crews we have going and move them over. That's interesting. Even coal is like somewhat anemic coming through here. That guy needs another truck. These guys look like they're starving for trucks. What we really need to do is move, um, put another of these guys out a little closer to where they are. Okay. We got maintenance issues. Oop. We have tons of construction part ones here. These guys don't consume any energy. They do consume workers. Iron is our shortage. You can tell that's the only belt that's not backed up. We do have a fully saturated belt coming into our smelters. However, not enough. It's not enough. Just looking to see if any of our smelter belts are backed up. Doesn't look like it. They're all, every iron plate we produce is getting used one way or another. These guys are starving for mechanical parts. So let's shut off this belt for now. This is just our storage of mechanical parts for building purposes. Let's make sure every mechanical part we're producing gets into storage. Construction part twos are backed up. I think I'm going to leave them that way rather than like donating or upgrading. Okay. Let's see the battle because, um, we're kind of short on iron right now. So if we, Start using a bunch of construction part twos. That's just going to make things worse. All right. We won. We got a new oil rig. 11 rubber and 19 copper. Hooray. 
That's gonna need repairs. Wait for the ship to get back. We'll send it back out. See what we've got going on. The tech tree. Weapons. Okay, deconstruction efficiency is going to be next after settlement power. Settlement power is going to get us more unity. Deconstruction efficiency, that'll help. That'll help. Edicts, probably don't really need. What does this get us? Health boost? Uh, maybe. Water saver quarantine. Well, fine. Oh, man. Conveyor belt twos. These probably require, yeah, construction part threes. Could actually start thinking about that. Um, how to produce construction part threes. Construction part twos plus steel. We're going to need steel smelting. Oh, ship armor is tempting though too. Oh man. Armor plating. I wonder if that takes steel. Let's get uh, steel smelting on in the queue. That's the most important thing here. Mechanical power storage sounds good. Really want to get to these conveyor belts, but we're going to have to be able to produce construction part threes before we can even upgrade belts. Maybe this guy. And maybe that guy. I'm okay waiting. I think we can squeak our way through. Water has recovered. We got maintenance issues. But I think... I think we can still catch up. I'm going to pause this belt right here. This is sharing iron plates from our smelting line that is feeding the, the um, mechanical parts. I don't want to share those iron plates anymore. That's causing our maintenance problems. All right, let's see. Water resource is getting low. Oh, no. I was a little worried about this. Yeah, we're going to have to do desalination. We are just talking about this. Oh, man. It's starting to stack up. Problems are starting to stack up. All right. We got a big water deposit here. We know we're going to have to tap into this for our copper. We could do that as an easier solution. Got to run a big mega pipe into our water network somehow. Um, we could start with low level pipe because <laughs> otherwise we're going to burn through tons of uh, construction part twos. Let's tap into this water deposit. Just get on it. Eventually we're going to need to desalinate, but I think this might be a little quicker short term solution for us. Boom. How much do you put out? 48. Bummer. It just means we're going to need the upgraded pipe sooner than I want to do them. Freeze. I don't want those um, even before you mess with these. Or these. Now I need to run a whole crazy water pipe. I wonder if I can get it down and then come across the teeth or something. Oh, man. Or we could abandon that and just do desalination. Do we have that yet? 
water. Seawater pump. And do we have... Where is it? Distiller. This gets a uh, seawater with coal. Coal. Our coal belt is already a little strained, but we could just send a big pipe of water across. You know what I'm saying? We could um, do something over here. Bridge off of this coal and set up a little water thing over here. Distilling. Need to think about this for a second. All right, kind of looked it over. And our water situation's not quite as dire. We do have um, still quite a bit underground, about a third. 3,123 units, but we probably should get distillation going, at least some basic distillation. And we have a spot right here of open land that's not a bad spot to maybe do it. We can kind of tap into our water storage area, and I don't think it'll be too bad. So let's jump in and do it. We also have coal nearby, which we're going to need for this, uh, for this process. So let's do it. Seawater pump we need to start with. Uh, anywhere where you will actually be happy okay some part needs to be in the ocean oh was it not hot enough okay there we go i see boom i'll take it um we have some kind of designation here i'm going to get rid of this boom and then let's get what we need Seawater pump, we need just... That's going to get us what? Oh, 108 every 60 seconds of seawater. Wow, okay. I like it. 108, and then we want to distill it with this guy. Look at the recipe. 60. Okay, yeah, we got exhaust and everything else to deal with. This guy can do 60, this guy gets 108, so we want two of these basic distillers. They're gonna take in water, sea water actually. Uh, looks like, I gotta dump out, Let's see again, I'm gonna dump out, is that brine? Brine and water are gonna come out of this thing. Seawater is going to go in. Coal is going to come in. Let's try this. Gonna pause while we build. Just I'm not sure where exactly I want the placement on this stuff. Um, all right, let's do seawater routing. We're going to need a big pipe for that. Boom. And I got to worry about the wastewater, the path to get the wastewater out of here. So I guess we can go high-ish. So you... Yes, that's all right. And there's your water. There's your water coming in. We need to get rid of, let's see what that is again. We're going to do this process. It is brine. We need a dump. And these guys are going to put out 24 each. So that should be fine. The dump.
do have trucks coming through back behind there. Dude. Yeah, right next to where we're taking it in. I'll do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. You need the recipe, right, Brian? Okay, we need to get that brine routed over this way. Maybe I start the pipe from over here. Um, what's our throughput looking like? 48. So I can use a regular pipe. See if I can tell the direction on those pipes. Looks like, yeah, it looks like we're going to be good. So that's our brine gotten rid of. Um, water needs to find a way out of here, and we need to do smokestacks. I might do smokestacks. They don't take any people or anything, right? No. Nope. Now I just need to get my fresh water out of here and hope, hope, hope we have enough workers, power, and everything else to make this happen. Er is going to probably feed in here, I suppose. I need a pipe for that, right? This water does not feed back into the network. That's just going to the community. Um, I need to come over here. Let's see how we might do that. Hey, 36 and 36. Yeah, I need a big pipe for this. Not for this particular leg, but we'll just use it. Uh, I think I'm going to come across here. Oop, oop, sorry about the camera work. Bear with me, I'm just thinking here. I think I um, might be able to save a pillar if I do it. I don't know. Boom, just match up these pillars. Might not matter. Okay, that connected up where I didn't want it to. That's better. That's going into our water tanks. They are full. We're okay on water, actually, but this will give us a little bit more insurance. Now it's just our coal belt. That's over here. See if we can get that guy extended. All right, finally. All right, that is it. Think we're good. Think we're good. I'm going to hit play. Problem's going to be our coal supply, right? That belt is just starved. But we'll get this built, and electricity is going to be a problem. And like a maintenance is going to be a problem. Emergency quick repair. Boom. Let's see if we can recharge our Unity. I'm going to put on new edict. Let's do plenty of food. 
Boom. We'll get us our unity back into the positive. And then we can kind of unity boost some things until our maintenance recovers. We have to keep these guys repaired as best we can. What's our slag going out? This is our iron coming in. That's where our problem is. We're gonna be, it's gonna be a little precarious because we have all that building. And I'm sure that's gonna chew up a bunch of iron that we wish was going towards um, mechanical parts or mechanical components. That's a couple of those. We have tons of water in storage. We have some rain, so the reservoir replenished a little bit too. Pause one more of those. All right, let's see if there's any warnings we can actually get to here. Okay, dirt mine has no available designations in its area. I think we're done with these guys. And I may have, no, nope, they can still get through and they could maybe help out the copper mine. Uh, they have a place for dirt. There's plenty of room for copper. Let's disband our dirt miners. I think that's this one right here. Dirt mine west. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that whole thing. Uh, I guess first I'll unassign everybody. And delete this. Just have it out of the way. And let's get those. That excavator. Another truck or two. Over on the copper mine. That'll put those guys to work. Diesel is looking okay, but we don't want stuff that is not repaired don't care about that one too much fine i don't care about the well being needing maintenance not a big deal rubber we have one on that's fine these are our construction parts these are construction part ones. Could save a bunch of electricity. If we wanted to belt construction part ones out of here and feed this line. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause a couple of these guys. Slab production's fine. I don't care if that lags. I don't care if this guy lags. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, next thing. Water resource getting low. Fine. Tree harvester has no trees to harvest. Let's do it. Maybe we can mark these guys again. And yeah, those are marked. Maybe he can't get there. Yeah, I probably can't. I blocked off. We'll get to those some other time, I suppose. What's next? Let's send the ship out. We can still keep fighting. Looking for ones that are cheaper than 170 or weaker than that guy out there. Oh, man. Let's uh, repair the farm. We are making construction parts, just apparently not enough to keep up. Do you think it's a belt problem? I could be wrong on that. I think we should still let everything run, though. I'm not super worried. All right, let's take care of the coal plateau crew. That's not you. It's this guy right here. 
see what those are work guys we're working on and what they need to work on. Get away up to the top of the mountain here. It's like our sand crew leveled that off. That's kind of cool. And they're working their way over there. That's good. We have a way up here, which is fine. Um, we could extend this ramp across, or we could take these guys and put them over here to help accelerate this process. So we can get at this copper or we could just set up another mind control tower and do this one in parallel. That might not be a horrible idea. Let these guys work on this and start working our way towards this copper. Why don't we do that? Mind control tower. Boom. This is going to be Ooh. edit area. This big area here, make that bigger. Let's name this East Copper Mining Crew 2. Save it. And let's see if we can get, you know what? We have an extra excavator. Let's just, um, Staff that with resources we have. I'm going to quick build it. Three of those. So now we have a crew working on this part. And let's give these guys just some more designations to work. We just flatten this area out. All of this area. Hmm. Let's push it back. Fine. Let's get rid of this. Ooh, I can't really push it back. Let's extend what they're doing. I'm going to get rid of these used up designations. I want to just extend this ramp this kind of more that way. Um, so yeah, mining flat. Go like this, go like this. The flatten that to level one, and then I actually want them to make a new ramp. Basically, I'm just trying to terraform this land down, flat, <clears throat> but preserve a way to get up while we're doing it. That's kind of the methodology that I'm looking at. Okay, escape, escape, mining, ramp. like that. That'll keep those guys busy. God, this area needs to be filled in. Let's see if we can solve that problem. I don't know if these are designations. We want this all to level one. Boom. This is filling in pretty nice. These guys are doing their job. We should have plenty of sand and plenty of limestone. That's all good. Maintenance is still a big problem. Coal miners team one. That needs new designations. That's these big guys here. Let's do it. Let's give them more to do. Gonna push them forward. Got to be careful about landslides. We don't want to flood this one. We're at minus three. Let's just stay at minus three.
All right, iron plates are starting to back up here on our construction part two line or smelter. That should send more iron over this way. And hopefully we'll get more construction parts. All the iron is going into these guys, I believe. Yep. And then I think is the hold up on the maintenance. Yeah, it's the construction part. I mean the um, mechanical components. Electronics looks fine. You can probably get by with pausing one of these just because um, we're not using as much in the creation of maintenance. Ship's back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do we get? Did we find anything? 170. Okay, we need to explore this. Ship is too damaged. Oh, we must have lost a battle. Okay. Yeah, ship in battle. We lost. We found rubber. We found copper. And we found a radar system. Man, we really need those upgraded belts. That is a problem for us right now. Diesel production seems kind of slow. I know there's some stuff broken here, but... I thought we would have a bit more crude. Guys kind of waiting to unload. I'm okay with that, because this will bounce back up. This will actually work. It's just going to be slow as it breaks down periodically. Looks like our indoor pool or our outdoor pool rec center here is starting to fill up. A little bit of water here and probably a little bit in there. Let's make sure we got fill designations for this guy. A lot of this can kind of come away, I think. This can all go now. Boom, all that designation. Can we now have settlement power? Um, <laughs> let's do it. Let's build it. We don't have a lot of extra power right now, but we'll get this guy built. Transformer. It's going to get us some extra unity. Plenty of housing, plenty of workers. Not enough maintenance. We have machines that are broken. Water says it's getting low. Don't. It warns kind of early. We only have 3,500. Might be a good idea to slowly upgrade these tanks. Be one. Um, I didn't connect this last water pipe. Let's get that connected. Water looks pretty decent. In fact, we could even pause this guy. Save six workers and a bit of electricity. I'd actually rather run these. I think, I don't know, my assumption is that these are more energy efficient. I could be wrong. What do we get with these? 48 water every 60 seconds at 120 kilowatts. Hard to compare, right? Because these guys aren't, these guys are burning coal. 36 water every 60 seconds. These guys throw off some pollution, which isn't helping. Power's an issue. A lot of stuff is an issue because of the maintenance. Tell you what, let's wrap it here. Definitely have a persistent maintenance problem. Um, I think we will recover. Probably need to make sure the lab stays repaired because <laughs> we're waiting on, um, waiting on the tech tree to get us better belts. 
And I think that's going to solve most of our maintenance problems. Um, but there's a whole cascade of things that are causing problems. Um, I think, like I said, largely due to our belts being a little anemic on how much product they can push. I've got this designed for like level two belts and we don't have those yet. So we got to wait. But yeah, let's wrap it here. We're surviving. I don't see anybody dying yet. We got Unity climbing back up. We've sent the ship out. Oil is being produced. Diesel looks okay, right? 909. Not as good as I would like it. Construction parts have been doing great. Food is usually fantastic. We've got a huge supply. We're getting some extra unity right now off of a edict here for plenty of food so they can eat more food. I mean, maybe we'll use that to kind of keep things running. Use that extra unity so I can kind of do these quick repairs until we get our maintenance going. But yeah, that's it for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to GliderCat patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support. We're doing it. We are terraforming this island, and we're going to try and conquer this thing. This series, we have way more terraforming crews in action than we did last season. Chipping away at different areas. And, uh, man, I do like how it's going. I'll see you all in the next one.